my name is Sanjay Kohl. I'm uh, heading uh, Sesquara Business for Asia Pacific and Japan for Cisco. So, why don't I start with, you know, what are we seeing in the industry happening? You, know, you saw <coughs> uh, industry is now geared uh, to go into the 5G technology and, and I think <coughs> our belief is that uh, it is, this technology is really, really efficient and it is conducive for ending conditions. Uh, however, there's a huge amount of transformation that has to take place. Uh, operators really uh, need to create shifts into their network architectures and we believe there are three predominant shifts that need to happen. Uh, the first one is about creating a, a flat and intelligent network uh, and you do that by, by reducing the number of layers in your network and, uh, and our belief is that uh, you need to proliferate your IP all the way to the access so in other words make it end-to-end -end IP an intelligent and a secure network right so that's piece number one piece number two is uh, they need to look at their data center architectures you know Today you will see these mammoth data centers which are the central repositories for carrying any consumer data. So we believe that centralized data center will get disintegrated and uh, as the broadband networks proliferate, the data will happen at the edge of the network. As a result, you need to create mini data centers at the edge of the network to treat the data to analyze it and extract value out of it. Uh, so I think that gives an emergence of what we call mobile edge compute. And uh, these are the mini data centers that will take care of all the consumer data that gets generated, analyze it, uh, that will be a site where they will cache the content, uh, they will probably put in their packet core locations at the same place. So as a result, the abundance of data that's happening, you know, uh, it's not going to go down, it will continue at the same pace, but you have a way to uh, treat the data and monetize it. I think that's the key challenge and key issue industry today has, right? And then the last piece is the fundamental piece, which is to create a platform. And the platform is basically a capability that will extract value out of the connectivity layer and other capabilities that you are putting into the network. So, so that's in a holistic way three architectural shifts. And the post fourth one, which is very, very fundamental, is that there will be a security wrapper, which means everything you do in this new flat intelligent IP architecture, you need to make sure it's end to end secure. Hello everybody, my name is Michael Glickman and I lead our global service provider segment here at Cisco and uh, we're here at uh, Mobile Congress India and uh, it's a great opportunity for us to be working with the service providers that serve the markets in India with uh, mobile services. I get asked a lot about what's Cisco's part in that and what's our strategy for growing our business here in India with the, uh, with the critical service providers. What I would tell you is that the use cases that we're going to be driving into the consumer base, into small business, and even into B2B will all be accentuated by the 5G deployments that are planned here in India. Those along with the 4G connectivity that's uh, already being proliferated will be absolutely necessary to get those use cases off and running. But what we're doing today in preparation for that with the service providers is building out the network elements that are required to support those use cases. Especially in the business space, in the enterprise space, it's going to be absolutely critical for things like network slicing and the ability to light up the, the B2B use cases that you're seeing here at the show, that we have the right IP network to support that. The IP network at a, at a very flat and agile level will enable you to get the right price points for those use cases and to be able to proliferate wireless services out in the rural communities in India, which I know is critical. 70% of the population is in those spaces. So we're very committed to that. 
we're also committed to doing it with the right automation so that uh, the carriers can actually deliver those services at the right price points and be agile enough to, to bring the innovation that I know India wants. So we're very happy to be here. We're very happy to be supporting uh, the, uh, the India Mobile Congress and looking forward to working with all of you to deliver the great services to your consumers. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rajan, uh, country manager for Qualcomm uh, Indian Shark. It's a pleasure to be here at IMC. And uh, in the second year of IMC, we have seen uh, a lot of traction. And here at the booth, we are, uh, we are showcasing some of the things that are going to happen in the India market. The India market has revolutionized in the last three years. We have seen 4G from being a service which was for the elite going right up to the masses. And it's so exciting to say that now we are actually on the brink of bringing 5G to India. Uh, and we are showcasing some of the technologies which are relevant for the home, the consumer, the industry, and also for the infrastructure. And uh, some of them span across bringing Wi-Fi access right to the home, and then small cells which are very much required for a country like India, where uh, 5G will need a decentralized network, and our small cells probably will offer the solutions. And then, not to forget, we have uh, Make in India, Design in India. Uh, we, through our programs, various programs, uh, drive uh, innovation here locally. Uh, we have designed NBIT modules which are being used in smart meters, which are there on the display. Uh, these meters are being installed as we speak. So what we see is in the next few years, it's not just the consumer, it's going to be the enterprise and also the, the industrial use cases of IoT, 5G, and AI. So please welcome to our booth. I'm Randeep Raina, uh, Chief Technology Officer at Nokia India uh, Networks Limited. Uh, uh, we are here at IMC at Nokia booth, uh, full of excitement. There's a lot of uh, excitement around 5G right now and that has been the theme of uh, IMC 2018. As you would see at our uh, booth uh, at Nokia, we are displaying a true experience of 5G in the form of having a digital city out, uh, uh, displayed out here. Um, it, it has a digital home, a digital enterprise, a digital, um, uh, connect, agitated, digitally connected hospital out here, which is unveiling some of the new use cases that are possible in 5G. As a technology, we believe that it's one of the uh, good initiatives that India is taking in terms of getting uh, India on the 5G roadmap uh, uh, from a readiness standpoint. Uh, there, is, uh, uh, there is a technology available and um, um, you know, operators are now looking at how they could uh, look at uh, you know, implementing this in the, in the near future. Uh, from a standardization standpoint, there are standards in place and uh, there are markets like North America, China, Japan, uh, Korea, uh, parts of Europe who are now looking at embracing 5G uh, as a technology and they go uh, to the next uh, you know, segment of the network evolution and have a better efficiency and a better uh, productivity. Uh, so with 5G, what you get is better throughputs to the extent of almost 10 Gbps uh, uh, and the latencies of uh, less than 1 milliseconds, which are also very important for the next uh, generation of uh, use cases that we need. 5G per se will, uh, you know, kind of uh, open up a new picture of opportunities for the operators who are traditionally serving the customers right now who need a connectivity uh, um, uh, right now, but they can diversify into multiple uh, streams uh, like going after the healthcare, transportation, um, uh, 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 you know, improvements in the uh, infrastructure of any urban city. Uh, they can automate machines which means that they can go and uh, explore possibilities that are that are available within the industry for that zero uh, per se. Uh, because of the improved capacity, improved throughput and the improved latencies that 5G brings in, uh, there are multiple opportunities that operators can engage and explore new possibilities of new revenue streams and new uh, uh, modes of uh, monetizing uh, the data. I think that's what 5G is all about. Um, you know, uh, full of action right now at IMC 2018. And uh, we are excited uh, to see uh, how uh, the entire stakeholders are coming under one roof and developing solutions and developing uh, uh, use cases for the market uh, for India to embrace in a short span of time. Thank you very much. 
Sri Wilson Corona. I'm the CTO for the CPO Organization. Good morning and a very warm welcome to the IMC 2018, the second edition of uh, Indian World Congress. Uh, I see personally a lot of development compared to what we had last year. Uh, congratulations to the organizers and I'm personally very excited to be here uh, listen to the investigators like SBN, Mr. Kohli, the ministers and the ministers yesterday uh, to see uh, where the industry is heading, to listen to their thoughts and uh, to see what's going to happen in the next couple of years. A uh, couple of panel discussions and speeches as well. They have been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm personally happy to be here at ZT Stall and uh, we are presenting a complete ecosystem, end-to-end -end ecosystem for uh, development of telecom technology and also what's going to come in uh, 5G. So we are uh, focusing a lot on 5G technology. We have a new radio that is a 5G radio. We have a cloud native uh, core solution. We have a fantastic transport and IP solution as well, along with the devices uh, that are prominently being used on 4G today and how they evolve into 5G. Uh, great to look at uh, the vendor community. Uh, we have a couple of operator groups as well, seeing what uh, operator mindset is. And primarily, I see a lot of focus on uh, growth of mobile broadband. Uh, which means sort of focus on 5G and how uh, low latency applications are coming in. The entire focus happens to be on what new applications are going to come and be launched for 5G so that uh, the Indian community at large uh, could be benefited. Not only from a uh, larger mobile broadband uh, throughput to be given to them, but also low latency applications like uh, driverless cars happening, virtual reality, artificial intelligence, and a couple of applications around the uh, machine to machine communication as well. So it's great to be a part of this industry and showcase our own products, uh, learn from others what's happening in the industry, learn from operators on what their thought process is and the leaders as well. So uh, proud to be part of this uh, event and I hope uh, you will enjoy the show as well. Thank you. Hi, my name is Gautam Billa and I'm Director for System Engineering at CNI in India. I heard one of the CTOs says yesterday that uh, India is a tough market. If your solutions are not cost optimized, uh, it doesn't matter how good they are. So I think our strategy from a uh, solutions perspective is pretty simple. Uh, we need to keep uh, re-architecting the networks and we need to keep building an architectures that are cost optimized. At the same time, uh, we need to keep our lead on the optical space. So uh, from a strategy, uh, strat India strategy perspective, I think there are three things that I want to point out. Uh, one is that we will keep coming out with uh, innovative architectures that uh, bring about uh, uh, more resiliency, more cost reduction into the networks. Uh, we are going to focus on uh, packet as a domain and especially packet into the access. Uh, as someone rightly said uh, during the conference that uh, uh, the edge is going to become the new uh, playground for telecom in India. There are going to be 300,000 telecom uh, fiber pops which are going to be built in the next uh, 12 to 18 months. So I think that's a pretty important space for us. And the third thing is that we're going to focus on automation. That's that's going to be an uh, important space as well. So right st starting from uh, getting the path computation and the intelligence out of the network elements and into the centralized controller. Uh, things like analytics, things like closed loop, close loop automation. I think these are the important strategies that we're going to follow for the next uh, 12 to 18 months. Thank you. Hi, I'm Anand Agarwal, Group CEO of Sterlite Technologies. Uh, we are a global, global data network solutions company and we are uh, designing, building and managing the new networks for uh, the country. Uh, essentially, what we see in terms of technology, the entire network is becoming increasingly very, very simpler. It's becoming as simple as fiber uh, with servers and a lot of software as virtualization is happening as well as as uh, uh, the software definition is happening we are seeing that the networks uh, of tomorrow becomes extremely software defined open source and virtualized uh, so we at uh, imc are launching a new product which is essentially called uh, sterlite mantra solutions it's a fiber to the x solution uh, which is uh, an end to end solution going with fiber uh, of uh, a special design cables uh, new new kind of kits, a new way of deploying the, the fiber to the X and having the virtualized access points, so virtualized OLT, virtualized OLT along with software uh, uh, defined access. So an end-to-end -end solution 
from the base fiber to software for fiber to dex called Sterlite Mantra Solutions. Thank you. Hi, I'm Shivaji Chatterjee and I'm the Senior Vice President from Hughes Communications India Limited. Hughes is the leading satellite communications company in, the, in India and we are very excited that we are part of this entire telecom revolution that's been going on in the country. Telecom is now seen as a foundation and backbone for the development of the country, whether it's connecting urban or rural areas or digitizing to digital India and connecting every citizen in the country. Hughes is playing a big role in helping the government realize the vision and helping every Indian citizen realize their dream of having a better tomorrow. Uh, this kind of event, the uh, India Mobile Congress focuses on mobility because it's mobility which has empowered the country in terms of digitization and the ever-reaching growth in terms of technology from 2G to 3G, 4G, 5G and what not. And of course that brings across more bandwidth and with more bandwidth you get the opportunity for more applications, more empowerment and a more connected citizen. Hughes is very deeply entrenched into the country and we've been here for nearly 25 years providing services and solutions which help this telecom revolution come about. We are very confident that this event, the second mobile congress, will actually help bring a bigger community together and help spread the word and help India get a better tomorrow and day after. Thank you. So my role here is uh, I'm a regional manager uh, taking care of uh, India and also Indonesia. So uh, from my perspective, I'm seeing that uh, in India there's a very huge potential uh, in India for also this Make in India initiative. So from my point of view, there are a lot of uh, companies that are actually investing in, uh, in India. So uh, that's why we're also here in India. So we are targeting all these uh, mobile phones. Uh, companies and the mobile phone industry. Uh, similarly, we are also seeing a lot of potential in other sectors like automotive and also uh, home appliances market. Okay. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Jayant and I take care of the wireless business in India. Uh, India has uh, really exciting times now. Uh, we expect 5G to be rolled out in a couple of years. Uh, currently, what's very interesting for us is the R&D market uh, with the NBA OT happening in India and also uh, production uh, as per Make in India initiatives uh, and also the TEC mandate uh, which is making uh, device testing mandatory from April 1st, 2019. All these three uh, building blocks uh, really want to grow the business for us in India in the next three years and I'm sure with 5G rolling in, uh, this would be a, a additional business on top of it. Good morning, my name is Madhukar Tripathi. I am working as a marketing head and optical business head for NSC India Private Limited. Andusu India Private Limited is a subsidiary of Andusu Corporation Japan, which is a world leader in telecom test and measurement equipment. We are working very closely with the global uh, telecom leaders for providing a new uh, technology to the telecom industry and uh, uh, to the public. Uh, this is uh, uh, very useful in the terms of uh, enhancing the uh, life experience of the public and. Uh, to uh, boost the uh, GDP and employment uh, for the IT and telecom sector. We are uh, providing uh, our base station simulator and network simulator radio communication test set for the 5G technology, which is our up upcoming hot world and uh, future of the telecom segment. Today, we will uh, display or talk about the 5G support using the NSU platform radio communication test set and wireless test set. Thank you. Hello, good 
गुड आफ्टरनून माई नेम इज रवि शंकर आय आय एम फाउंडर मेंबर ऑफ सावित्री गुफा कंपनीज सावित्री वी स्टार्टेड इन नाइनटी नाइन विथ हैविंग अ क्लियर विजन टू क्रिएट वैल्यू फॉर द इंडस्ट्री राइट नाउ वी आर वर्किंग टू मल्टीपल वर्टिकल्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम पी एन एम एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सोल्यूशन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोजेक्ट ई पी सी ऑपरेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस रिपेयर एंड कैलिब्रेशन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड लीजिंग ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी लीजिंग ऑफ टेलीकॉम टेलीकॉम प्रोडक्ट्स सो सिंस स्टार्टिंग आवर मेन फोकस इज टू क्रिएट वैल्यू फॉर कस्टमर एंड बाई क्रिएटिंग वैल्यू फॉर द कस्टमर वी वी गेट बिजनेस फॉर आवर सेल्फ सो दिस इज आवर बिजनेस लाइन एंड टूडे वी आर ऑल टूगेदर सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड प्लस पीपल वर्किंग थ्रू आउट इंडिया इन सावित्री एंड वर्किंग इन टू मल्टीपल प्रोजेक्ट्स सो वी आर रेडी टू टेक अप चैलेंजेस वी आर रेडी टू कंट्रीब्यूट टू इंडस्ट्री एंड we are a part of many prestigious project including private and government projects and india is purely a different kind of business atmosphere customer needs quality at very cost and very cost effective price so we at savitri work regular on the cost side also as as well as on quality side also so we make a balance of costing and quality so that's our main focus that we should be able to because we are a lowest roi market in world like we are the we, we in india we having lowest tariff rate in telecom data anywhere we are the india is the lowest in tariff so any operator any small isp any cable tv operator any enterprise sector any data center company their their revenue in other market is much higher compared to india so same way they have to they have to manage their bottom line to manage their profitability they have to find out those partner who can give same kind of quality at better price so we uh, we we savitri is having expertise in those area thank you very much i am himan shusha chairman of ut starcom ut starcom is a global company with an indian chairman and a us listing So we are living in a very hyper competitive world by the 24/7 click buy and make world as well where you have tremendous need for data demand. We see a lot of new products that we are introducing that could work quite well in India including our go box which is an automated vending machine as well as our next generation network products. A lot of people say, "Well, Indian market is very competitive. Uh, you know, operators are consolidating. What will happen to the suppliers?" Absolutely, it is going to be a cutthroat market for the next number of years. So our strategy is just to talk about the new solutions that we are bringing to those providers, and that's how we're going to win market share. Thank you. Yes, my name is Bahram Jalalizade. I'm the head of global sales from Avenir. We're first of all very glad to be here in this great uh, IMS show. Uh, a lot of exciting news. Uh, I guess one of the questions was asked is what's Avenir's strategy? Avenir is completely software uh, company, end-to-end -end products from all the way to core to the brand type products, and one of the latest, latest uh, technology in the world. company that's that's who we are we're happy to be presented and showcase some of the work that we're doing uh we have uh some demo and demonstrating to the folks here to the CTOs and technologists who are interested in what innovation really means in our industry uh we set out our strategy we think is a competitive market but i think what makes a company like Mavenier shine and win some customers is really the truth of the truth about what's possible of a technology innovation uh, as far as how the competitive environment is this uh, india's concern 
actually I was very surprised to see the number of people who showed up here. Uh, Indian uh, culture shows a lot of curiosity about technology. Obviously, hearing the operator communities, they wanted to leapfrog, essentially to move to 5G as quickly as possible. We saw some of the data about the usage of uh, data in, in this country is number one. It's very, very surprising the last two years a country like uh, India has moved so fast. This fit into the uh, very being in Mavenier DNA culture. We're all about creating new products, new solutions, and not only about just a product, it's building something much more cohesive for a community who is eager and there's a huge pent-up demand for technology. Right now, I think India is set for a country to absorb as much technology to live a better life for every Indian, whether poor or rich. That's enormously advantageous, and this fits into a company like Mavenier. We offer the greatest and latest 4G and 5G technology in the globe.